What's good? It's DJ Mojo, saving the city one party at a time. Welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll be talking about a wedding that I've done recently in 2021 at the Huntington Bay Club down in Huntington Beach. Now this wedding is super fun and I'm excited to share with you the behind the scenes, the venue, the setup, the layout, the music, the flow, the energy, the crowd and the lights, everything that made this wedding so fun and special for our bride and groom, Jackie and Denise. Now, whether you are a wedding planner or an engaged couple looking for some venues or looking to get some ideas, some inspiration for your special event, I hope this video is helpful. For those people who don't know about me or this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. I'm a professional DJ down here in Southern California and destination events specializing in weddings and corporate events. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you some highlights from the wedding and I'll be playing and pausing the video to share with you my commentary of what you're seeing on screen. And by the way, follow me on Instagram at DJ underscore Mojo to find out more about my work and what I'm up to. So here we go. Let's get into it for Jackie and Denise's wedding at Huntington Bay Club. Now, before we begin, I just want to give you some context about what you're about to see. This wedding took place in October 24, 2021. And this is a super nice venue where it's near the beach, tropical kind of vibe. A special note is that the couple went or heard about me through another couple who I've DJed their wedding a few years ago. They love the music, they love the energy, and they decided to hire me for their big wedding day. They also met at a festival, so they love EDM music. This night was one of the most creative, fun, high energy nights that I've had. And I love EDM for any of those EDM couples. And obviously each wedding is different, but this EDM wedding, I really get to explore my music creativity and do what I do best. So I was super excited to be their DJ. But what you see in front of you is the outside of Huntington Bay Club. And let me show you around. So what you see earlier was the ceremony set up. The bride made some soap for the guests. This is the sign giving a good timeline of what people can expect throughout the night. And I actually like this idea of letting people know ahead of time what to expect throughout the night. Instead of just not having this at all, they would have to leave it up to the DJ or the host to let people know what's going on. But here it's a nice visual so that way they could really plan things ahead. Other things that people have done before is have have printouts of the timeline of events at each table or each seat will have like a itinerary of the night. But having something like this as guests come in, whether they are just relaxing or just tuning in, whether they hang out during cocktail hour or at the beginning of the wedding, they can see at what time is what and that way they can be ready for that. So this is a nice sign that they did. So really quickly here, they have different signature drinks. Pausing this right here in case you may wanna try this out, but it's nice to have a personalized drink. It just makes it really special and custom when they order a drink. So right here is the ceremony and we have everyone up there. Before we actually started the ceremony, I went up there and just reminded people to, to really be present and letting them know that we're about to begin and just to refrain from using their camera devices so that way they can all be present for Jackie and Denise's wedding. Just to give an idea of the songs that they've chosen for the wedding party processional, they walked down to The Scientist by Brooklyn Duo. And then for the bride, you can see right here, um, she's walking into Can't Help Falling in Love by Brooklyn Duo. And at the end, we played Sky Full of Stars by the Vitamin String Quartet. But this is a nice view right here and it's a beautiful day outside for the wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, if you want to see my Instagram reel that I've made for this particular wedding, follow me at DJ underscore Mojo and you can see a really quick condensed version of how things went down for the wedding day. So right here, they're walking out this way and this is the area where they had the cocktail hour and it was so beautiful as the sun went down. It just felt really, really nice outside. Guests enjoying drinks, appetizers, catching up with friends. Overall, it was a great vibe. And as you can see here in this building on the top left, that's where we had the reception and it's on the second floor. Unfortunately, there were no elevators, so I would have to bring my gear up the stairs. Now, normally I would bring my video DJ booth, but in order to bring my video DJ booth, I would have to use an elevator. So I had a different setup up here. And I only bring that up just because you may have seen in my other videos that I normally bring my video DJ booth, but logistically, it really depends on the venue. But anyways, you're gonna see in a few what it's like to have the reception inside. We just finished with this ceremony and then the guests will enjoy the cocktail hour. This is the cocktail hour area and I use one speaker to cover this whole space and it sounded really great. And mind you, they are a bit picky with the sound ordinance. It can't be too loud, but the music was at an appropriate volume so guests could enjoy. Now here's the reception site that I was telling you about. Second floor, these are my speakers right here, my RCF Evox 8s. I use two of them and it covered this event space really well. In the middle is a sweetheart table and my DJ booth is over on the left side. So really quickly what happened here, as you can tell, things got dark. We don't get the sunlight coming in through the windows anymore. So what really makes this really nice is having these up lights that you see here around the room and it adds a more glow warm effect around the walls of the room just to give it more life. I don't know how else to put it, but it just really accents the room more. And later in the night, these up lights, they change color. All wireless and super reliable. The ones that I use are called the Ape Labs Maxis and they work really amazing. Right here is the grand entrance. So before they came in, I actually introduced the wedding party and we did the grand entrance song to Shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon. And then when it's time for Jackie and Denise, I played I Found You by Cash Cash and Andrew Grammer. And when they came in, I made sure to play at the most energetic part of the song where people just get really excited about. As you can hear in this clip, it was the drop of the song and everyone was cheering along. So after the grand entrance, we have the first dance and they've chosen the song, I Choose You by Ryan Darling. If you can see here, a lot of people took out their phones to record. They didn't exactly hire a videographer. And what they wanted to do is, as the MC, they told me to let the guests know to make sure that they record video during the grand entrance and just take a lot of clips throughout the night. So that's what you see here. A lot of people are taking clips because I made the announcement at the beginning. So it's really important to understand any important wishes from the bride and groom for the DJ and MC to know. So this way, they're able to capture all kinds of angles and perspectives perspectives of what happened on their wedding night. Now, these were the parent dances that happened a little bit later, but just to give an idea, we had the first dance and then we had the welcome speeches from parents of the groom, the mother of the bride, and the bride and groom themselves. And then we continue with dinner, which they had a buffet. That one of the things that I'm not sure if I captured it here, but definitely on my Instagram stories, I posted that people were singing along, having a great time during dinner. And it was really important to set the vibes right. I played a mixture of some pop music, some throwbacks, some sing-alongs and people were just enjoying. And I like the fact that it's majority a young crowd. So I was able to really connect with them more and resonate with the style of music that they want to hear. And of course, I played a few music for the adults just a little bit so that way they can be included with the music selection. Playing the right dinner music definitely warmed them up so that way they can have an amazing time when it's actually time to dance. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> so right here, for those people who don't know, the groom's name is Jackie Chan. And there's an actual song out there called Jackie Chan. One of the guests, I think he was a groomsman, he requested to, for me to play Jackie Chan at least one point in the night. And you know what? It popped off and people were excited. And during the chorus, when they said Jackie Chan, they all chanted out loud. Jackie got up here and, and danced. So this was a very fun moment for all of them here. Oh, this is a popping song. I love this song by Shouse, Love Tonight. Like I mentioned earlier, they met at a music festival, more specifically uh, Beyond Wonderland, and they really wanted to have like EDM heavy kind of beats, but also being able to blend in some hip hop. So that's what I was able to do. Obviously the energy can't always be up here. Sometimes people need a variety or a break in terms of the tempo and speed. That has been helpful and just really being able to read the crowd. Definitely a lot of EDM and some remixes and fun fact is that some people came from EDC I think the day before or the day of just for this wedding so it was really nice and everyone loved EDM and they had a, such a great group of friends who were all into it <laughs> Hey, this is an Uptown Funk remix. As a DJ, I get all kinds of music and I subscribe to different DJ pools online to get the freshest and hottest edits and remixes and mashups to really keep the crowd engaged, especially Uptown Funk. A lot of people are very familiar with the original version, but knowing that they like the EDM kind of style, I found a really good remix of Uptown Funk to blend the two, something that they're familiar with, with something that they want and the energy was really there. So things like that is something to take into consideration, especially for the DJ. I really take care of the craft and pay attention to the music portion and the songs and where I'm getting them from and knowing which ones to play. It's kind of like how a chef chooses their ingredients for creating the recipe. Not all ingredients are the same, you know, and that's something that I do is like I look at my songs my songs are the ingredients and making sure that they are really great quality and knowing when to use that song for the right moment and that way we can really take things up to another level all right there's me in the back <laughs> recording this this was super fun we got some people from the Bay Area and I played some E40 and I played Tell Me When To Go. And like I mentioned earlier, it's not always EDM, but we definitely wanna mix things up. I mean, everyone here has a variety of music styles and tastes, and I wanna make sure that we explore all of that. This is a sexy back remix. It has a more EDM feel than the original. You can see here, these are my lights and they strobe to the drop. They are in tune with the music. So I use this software called Sound Switch in which I'm able to control my lights, black them out, strobe, have a flash of white, um, change color on will. And that's the beauty of being able to control your lights to create a visual effect for the wedding. Yes, the music is great, but does the lights match the energy of the music. And especially these people have been to festivals where they are accustomed to these kind of lights. And if you go to any of those festivals or shows, if you pay attention to the production, the lights play a huge role in their experience. And that way we can really create an atmosphere where they can just really be present in that moment in that room. That's why I love these lights and I include them with what I do because I know that it will only just help out with your experience. See the drop, everyone going crazy, they're jumping, and it's just so fun, so fun.
Now these are some classic EDM songs. This is so fun. There's many kinds of EDM songs and some are more chill, some are more vocals, some are more on the drop heavy and you just have to feel the mood and being able to realize, you know what, sometimes they wanna break, relax the drops, but maybe I'll do it more on a melodious note. There's so many different kinds of songs and having that knowledge, the musical knowledge of choosing the right track, especially the one in the right key. There's so many factors when it comes down to mixing music, knowing when to cut things off so that way we can get the next song going or if they're having the time of their lives with a particular song knowing when to let it play so there's an intricate balance and there is definitely an art to this craft this was a super a fun wedding for me to be creative and just really be in the moment i, I really enjoyed this night So <laughs> this is a One More Time Daft Punk remix with one of the songs that Jackie loves. They do their homework in terms of submitting the music to me so that way I know what they want, their favorite artists, their favorite songs. And then I do my research and I was able to find this perfect remix mashup segue from Daft Punk into this track right here. And they went crazy, especially Jackie heard the melody, the music, the instruments in the background, and he knew that this drop was coming. And I remember he looked at me and we we're just having this connection right here and like, yeah, this is my song. It just makes the experience 10 times better. And I'm so glad that I did the prep work beforehand to really discover music. So that's what you see right here. People just see the result, but people don't understand what it takes leading up to that result and what it takes to actually get here. But I hope this describes to you the kind of process and the way I think when I approach things, especially to make moments like this. So I think there we go, there, there we have it, it's just dancing. But some of the things that we've left out here, and I know this was a highlight of the wedding day, we also had some speeches, cake cutting, the bouquet toss, the garter removal, the garter toss, and then we had the last song, I'll Lose My Mind by Sebastian and Grosso, classic EDM song. But as you can see here, everyone had an amazing time, the vibes were right, really just felt like a comfortable environment where people were just letting loose and, and have fun. I'm so glad that they've chose me as their DJ. There's no words to describe that feeling when everyone there had an amazing time. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video and hope this video has been helpful for those people who are potentially looking to having a wedding here at the Huntington Bay Club down in Huntington Beach. Now, there are different places to have your wedding. I think this is one of the rooms. I think there are other rooms that you can have your wedding, but I think they chose a spot just because up here, they can have a good view around. There's lots of windows so people can look out and, and see what's outside, so that was really nice. I guess the only challenge here for the DJ side of things, depending on your gear and what you you bring to the event, you have to consider the stairs, the flight of stairs, no elevator. So you have to be kind of picky with the gear you choose. And what's very helpful is that you have an assistant lugging all that gear up the stairs and at the end of the night, bring everything back down. It comes to show, sometimes what's really important are just the main factors. You know how to rock a crowd with the music, the interaction as an MC and the visual component too, just to take them back to the club days or the festival days and just really bringing EDC to Huntington Beach and just really understanding your clients and, and figuring out what they want and doing the homework to really be prepared for the wedding day. I really hope you guys take some value out of this, whether you're speaking to your DJ or planner, coordinator, there's a lot that goes into weddings for sure. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in learning more, there's plenty of videos here on my YouTube channel and you can also learn more on my Instagram at DJ underscore Mojo. And if you are planning a wedding, it doesn't have to be just an EDM wedding. I've catered to different kinds of styles of music and I really want to make sure I understand what you want and to see if we're a good fit. But I definitely recommend just scheduling a call with me and see if we're a good fit. There's a link down below in the comments. Just go to www.djmojo.com and you can set up a meeting with me there. Anyways, that's a wrap with this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. 
I'm DJ Mojo, saving the city one party at a time. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.